the boy in the photograph is me. Um, although the story of the play is fictional, and I'm an actor playing a character, um, bullying is something I did experience uh, for a period of time at secondary school. Um, I wasn't the only person at my school who experienced that. There was a lot of bullying at my school. Uh, and it made me want to talk about it because I know that there is it's still a big issue today in schools, workplaces, also in people's personal relationships. It goes on a lot. Um, <clears throat> and I just wanted to get an anti-bullying message out to people um, and just let people know, you know, bullying does nothing except create unhappiness for people. You experience a range of emotions, really. Um, it's very frightening. You have a lot of fear. It's like being in a constant state of anxiety, really. You're constantly anticipating when it might happen again. Um, <clears throat> it's really designed to make you feel bad about yourself. And if you allow that to happen, uh, you become vulnerable to it uh, continuing. Um, you feel a bit ashamed about it as well because you kind of want to do something to stop it, but you're not sure what to do. There's a feeling of, sort of powerlessness. Uh, you don't feel in control of the situation, which is the, the bad thing. Um, so you get all these emotions that you kind of have to manage as well as the bullying um, that are very difficult. Uh, bullying affected me in quite a life-changing way, really. I was extremely confident uh, before it happened and then gradually kind of lost that confidence. Um, it affected my self-esteem, uh, self-image and things like that. <clears throat> um, but, you know, on the plus side, um, having overcome that experience and survived it, it did... It did give me a lot of good things as well. It made me very determined to live a quite a brave life, do lots of brave things, uh, and I've achieved an awful lot of things that I'm really, really proud of. So I took a lot of positives from what, what can be a quite a, a difficult experience. I think uh, bullying in school is, can often be due to the environment at school. It's a very competitive environment. You're constantly comparing yourself to other people. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of insecurity in bullying. Um, sometimes people are displacing anger or they're angry about other things that are happening in their lives and, or home lives and taking it out on people at school. Um, there's a lot of fear. Um, you know, there are various reasons why, why people bully. Um, I think just the key thing is that it just creates so much unhappiness and um, there is no reason for it at all. It's really about building confidence. Um, I think when you become really confident and you have good self-esteem, um, I think you're much more protected from, from being bullied. So what I had to do was I realised it wasn't about the bullies, it wasn't about them. It was about the fact that <clears throat> I had lots of fears which kept me a victim. You know, the only thing that does keep you a, a victim is fear. So I worked out that if I could just face up to the things that I was scared of or that held me back, um, I wouldn't be bullied anymore. So. I kind of identified what I was worried about and I put myself in situations where I'd have to learn to deal with it. So I had various fears of answering back and it not working. So as a way to, to uh, overcome that fear, I, I got a job where I had to do lots of public speaking. I did lots of acting. And I think if anyone's ever done a, any of those things, you'll know they're quite challenging. Um, but every time you do it, your confidence grows. You feel better about yourself. Um, I was worried about not being able to defend myself. So I joined a boxing club um, and I, did all the training, all the sparring, all that. That was very challenging as well, but I think every time I confronted these fears that I had, I became more and more confident. And, and then gradually over time, I think the bullying just disappeared from my life because people were no longer targeting me or identifying me as someone that could be picked, off, picked on because I felt just really, really good about myself and I had a lot of confidence. Really to take responsibility for the situation. Um, and that's not about blaming yourself, it's not your fault what is going on. Um, but it's about taking responsibility for making sure that it stops. So as soon as you notice that it's happening, so as soon as it happens more than once and you're in a situation where you feel uh, disempowered or it's difficult to stand up for yourself and it's making you feel bad about yourself, you know, that's bullying. Um, and you need to take some action to stop that straight away. Telling someone's a really positive thing to do. People always have fear that telling might make it worse. In my experience, telling makes it an awful lot better. Um, it makes you feel better and it allows other people to help you, which is important. And there's a lot you can do to help yourself as well uh, in terms of looking at ways to build your confidence um, so you can become a more confident person and, and able to deal with it. But it all starts with taking responsibility for it and, and telling someone and reporting it in your school.